Hey Tam Fam! Welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a styling video. It's been a while since we've done a styling video so I hope that you guys like this. But before we head on to the main vlog, please make sure you've already subscribed and you clicked on that bell button so you're always notified whenever I have new videos like this one. Okay, so are you ready for our styling video? It's been a while since we've done one as I've mentioned and I asked you guys over on Instagram what kind of styling video you guys want to see, what's the topic you're most interested. A couple of answers stood out because a lot of you guys were voting for the same things. So I figured why not combine them all in this one video so that I can cater to a lot of you. Okay, so one of the most common answers was to do a styling vlog that centered on what to wear to work, like smart, casual, work appropriate outfits, especially Especially now that a lot of us are no longer working from home. A lot of you were also requesting for minimalist, casual outfits that it's easy for you guys to copy, it doesn't have to break the bank, so noted with thanks. And then number three is for me to create a capsule wardrobe for you guys. So if you are not familiar with what a capsule wardrobe is, it's basically a wardrobe that consists of just a few pieces that you can easily mix and match so that you can make the most out of your wardrobe. So it could be just let's say 10 pieces in your capsule wardrobe but you can do like 30 or 40 or 50 looks from these 10 pieces. So yeah, so there you go. So we are doing a capsule wardrobe featuring smart casual outfits that are minimalist and also perfect for you to wear not just for work but even for hangouts. But they're just smart casual so very very word appropriate still. I would like to give a shout out to the sponsor of our video for today. It is Vivaya. I will be using their shoes as well for our styling session so that you can see just how versatile these shoes are. If you guys are not familiar with Vivaya. Vivaya is a women's shoe brand that produces super stylish and comfortable and luxurious shoes that do not break the bank. They're very affordable and most importantly, they're sustainable and eco-friendly. They actually make use of recycled, discarded plastic bottles and with 3D technology, they produce these wonderful shoes. So okay, I'll quickly introduce to you guys these shoes because later on you'll see also how I'll be styling them together with our capsule wardrobe. So this first pair is called the Aria five so it's called five not because they've got an aria one two three four five but because they actually found the secret recipe to making pointed toe shoes comfortable. I already have slender feet and they still have pointed toe flats that are so so painful but with Aria 5, they were able to find a way to adjust the swing of the pointed toes by 5 degrees inwards and also adjusted the width so that this would make it more comfortable for all 10 of our toes. No toe is neglected. And what I really love about this is this part. It's so friggin soft. Look at it. And the entire shoe actually is super comfortable. And yet, it still feels super durable. There's a lot of support on the sole. It actually has rubber soles so you don't have to worry about tripping or slipping because it's got a really, really nice grip. And then the next pair that I got from Vivaya and which we will be using for our capsule wardrobe styling session is this pair called the Jade Heels. So these are very low heeled. So if you're like me who's not so skilled when it comes to walking in heels. This is just a perfect, perfect heel height. It's 50mm, so it's perfect for when you need to go a bit dressier for your smart casual outfits or you need to, you know, wear something comfortable to a date night. Okay, so the last pair that we have from Vivaya is this one called Emily. I love the little bows here at the back. It makes it look extra, extra dainty. So yeah, those are the three shoes that we got from Vivaya. Once again, thank you Vivaya for sponsoring this video. You can make use of my code Camille to get 15% off site-wide and even on discounted items. Okay, so time to show you the clothes naman that I have picked out for a capsule wardrobe. Okay, the rules of a capsule wardrobe. You need to be picking out colors that are easy to mix and match. So it's nice to stick to a certain color palette. So for this capsule wardrobe, we're going for creams, whites, and blacks. Which you've already seen with the Vivaya shoes that I showed you. I feel like these neutrals are the easiest to mix and match and also they're very easy to style with accent colors if you want to make things exciting every now and then. So same goes for the clothes. They're mostly in creams, whites, and blacks. I also added a blue. So that's our accent color but still kind of neutral. When it comes to the styles that you choose, you need to make sure that there's some sort of variety and it's easy to be able to layer them and mix and match so that you can make the most out of your capsule wardrobe. So for this certain capsule wardrobe, I've got sleeveless, I've got butt 
button downs, I've got dresses, pants, and skirts, and also a cardigan, which are all perfect to layer and style with each other. Okay, so let's start off with the pants first. So I made sure that all the pieces that I picked out here will still be suitable for working girls that work in a more conservative setting. So these are the pants. I would suggest to go for a straight cut or wide leg ones. Um, I feel like these are the most flattering and also they're very easy to dress up and dress down. So I'll be showing you quickly the pieces because you'll see how I style them anyways with the other pieces all throughout this vlog. So yeah, these are the three. Okay, so the first top that I'll be showing you for our capsule wardrobe is this white button down. I mean, it's a no-brainer. White button downs are always present when it comes to smart, casual, work-appropriate dressing. So normally, you'd style it with a pair of pants, skirt, tailored shorts, but it doesn't have to stop there. There's so many ways for you to make this white button down more interesting. Like for example, you can wear a vest on top of it, like so. So this is one of the knits that I included in our capsule wardrobe. It's very easy to layer and it's also very now. It gives you such a preppy look and automatically it makes it look like you put a lot more effort into styling your outfit. For this look, I paired it with the Vivaya Emily flats. See, because of the bow, you might think that it's so, so dainty, but actually on this look, it doesn't look as edgy or feminine, right? So it's all about the styling. If you wanna up the styling even more, you can add a statement necklace in silver. You can play with your bag. You can add some earrings. You've got a lot of options. I didn't include any accessories for this capsule wardrobe because that's just, we're never gonna end. It's gonna be an hour long, this vlog. And because this is a capsule wardrobe, I wanted to show you how you can change up the look by just changing your bottoms. If you're more of a skirt kind of girl, then the perfect skirt, in my opinion, when it comes to versatility, is the A-line skirt. I like this particular skirt because it's very crisp, also very clean lines, there's not a lot of things going on. It's very simple, there's some structure to it, fabric isn't so soft, so I feel like it gives you more of a tailored look, so then it makes you look more professional as well. But this is also a good option if you're more of this feminine dainty kind of girl and you want some texture in your look, then you can also go for a pleated A-line skirt. So why an A-line silhouette? Because A-lines are universally flattering. You can have big hips, small hips, you can be short, tall, but still a line is. So now that we've got the skirt as part of our capsule collection, you also have your button down ready. You can remove that vest and then let's change your shoes since we're in an all white outfit. We're gonna go for the Vivaya Aria 5 flats because this pair is quite bright so it can easily get dirty but it's actually entirely machine washable. So you can just throw it into the washer and it's good as new. You can layer on a cardigan or a sweater as maybe just a decorative thing. You don't have to wear it. You can just put it over your shoulders and in this way you've already leveled up your outfit. You know, it's not just accessories that can add an extra oomph. You can also go for different textures, different fabrics. So now we're going from woven fabrics. You're gonna put a knit on top of it and it just makes you look preppier and also add some color to your all white look. Next in our capsule is this white shirt. You don't have to go for something that has a puff here. It's just, this is what I have currently in my halfway house. So the trick here is to find the shirt that's not so loose, but also not super duper fitted. Make sure that the fabric is also not so thin. It has to have a little bit of thickness to it so that it falls nicely and it's also not transparent. It also looks more expensive than your normal shirt. And I personally prefer a round neck because it's easier to style with different pieces. So you may think that, Oh, a shirt is too informal for work. It's too casual, but it's all about what you pair with it. So you can pair it with one of the dress pants that I showed you guys earlier. This time, I'm pairing it with the beige pants. Instead of wearing my usual Vivaya Aria flats, I'm wearing the Vivaya Jade heels. So this heel actually comes in a lot of different colors, but I love this beige color. It's just so flattering and also goes well with a lot of my clothes. Because the pants are more tailored, they're dress pants, they're not you know, in a cheap fabric. With just a little bit of heel, you automatically look like you're more dressed up and it's not so casual anymore. It becomes smart casual. And when you're wearing simple pieces like this, this is when you can really, really accessorize. So my tip for you guys is just to look for that statement accessory. You don't have to have so many accessories on you. Just a couple of statement accessories are already enough. So for here, my current favorite statement accessory is this chunky gold chain necklace. And I feel like it turns such a classic look a bit trendier. 
And so there, if you want to take it a step further and you want to look like a boss, it's easy to just add a blazer. So I've included in our capsule wardrobe two blazers. The first one is this white or kind of off-white blazer. You're free to choose whatever color you want from this neutral palette that I have here, which is creams, whites, and blacks. But for this look, I feel like this ivory blazer really looks so well with the top and pants. And then if you are not really feeling looking like a boss, then you could just also again use the cardigan that I showed you guys earlier. A knit cardigan comes really really handy. So instead of wearing a blazer, you'll wear a cardigan instead for a more relaxed look. Now this goes for all the pieces that I've shown you and I'm about to show you. You don't have to look for the exact piece. I made sure that it's easy for you guys to replace these pieces so your cardigan doesn't have to look exactly like this. It could be the normal button-down cardigan. It could be a sweater instead of a cardigan. My capsule wardrobe is just here to serve as a guide for you guys. Okay, but if you're not the cardigan type of girl, you can choose to wear a sweater vest instead. So that's why I have a couple of sweater vests that I included in this capsule wardrobe. So earlier you saw the black one and now just to play on the white creamy vibe, let's wear this cream vest instead. I love how warm the tone of this look is. I feel like it's very very flattering and also super classy. Okay, since the sweater vest is also a bit of more of a casual vibe, let's change up the heels. I mean you can still stick with the heels but let's change it up to the Aria 5 flats. This particular Aria 5 that I got is made of hemp which makes it naturally antimicrobial and also odor resistant and more importantly, very very breathable. So you can see with the different variations that I showed you guys in terms of styling the shirt and pants, how you can easily change up the mood of your look. We went from the more formal blazer look and then we went to a bit of a like in between with a cardigan and then something younger and more casual with the sweater vest. So there, you can already see how you can easily create create so many different looks with just a few pieces. Since I've already introduced to you the knits that I added into this capsule wardrobe, so let's remove that shirt and just wear the cream vest. See, it's na ulit yung vibe, niya, right? It looks super different now. And then again, to make it a bit dressier, you can wear the blazer on top of it. You still have your necklace on there, and there, and voila! So I did mention that I also have another button down here, which is the blue one. I really wanted to include a different color. It's nice to have some accent colors outside of your color palette for your capsule wardrobe. For example, for this beige on beige look, in order to break the colors, it's nice to add this blue button down, just wear it inside. And just like that, it's a whole different vibe again. And then from there, you can also change your pants into a skirt, let your shirt out, don't tuck it in, and then it just makes it look more effortless this time because the previous look looks more polished and now this one looks more effortless. You know, that woman in the office you can approach and ask questions to, that's her. But if you're afraid that it might look a bit too casual, then you can change your flats and wear the heels again. And then for a different look than a man, see, with just this one rack, I feel like I can do three months worth of outfits. Not even kidding. But anyway, so let's remove the vest this time and tuck in our shirt. Let's close the buttons all the way up to make it look more tailored and more polished. And voila, she's a dainty feminine working girl. Again, you can add cardigan over it because I really, really love doing this style. I feel like it just makes you look super rich. <gasps> Okay, so what other tops did I include? I also included this bodysuit. It doesn't have to be a bodysuit. I feel like with all the tops that I showed you, they're a bit more loose. They're not really body hugging. So it's nice to add at least one piece that's body hugging. So this is really, really fitted. Again, it doesn't have to be in this color. You can play with different colors. You can be the whites or the blacks or the creams and everything else. But okay, I'm still sticking with this to the same color palette. So it's easy for us to mix and match. It's also much more of a no-brainer, I feel, especially if you're in a hurry to go out. Just look at this capsule collection and basically all the pieces can go well together because we're sticking to one color story. So okay, I digress. Again, you can pair it with our a line skirt. To make it more formal, you can wear a blazer over it. If you've got a nice belt, then you can also use that over your blazer so that you can cinch the waist and kind of mimic that Dior look and also give you a nice hourglass figure. So as you can see here, all the creams and the beiges and the browns of this outfit, they're not necessarily in the same 
shade, but they all belong to one family. So it's fine. You can see that my jade heels are lighter, and then this top is a bit darker and also has a greenish tone, but it's fine because they belong in one color family. So they easily match. And even though I, let's say, add another type of creamer beige, like through these pads, they still look super well together because again, they belong to one color family. If you're not really a white blazer type of girl and you feel like you want something more slimming, then you can change it to the black blazer. If you compare the two looks, you can easily see by just changing the color of your blazer from light to dark how the vibe or the mood of your outfit changes, right? The light colored ones tend to be happier, something very suitable for a day. It's also more feminine. And then the dark blazer kind of gives off a more mature, mysterious vibe. And then if you're not really feeling the formal look, then you can choose one of our button downs, either the blue one or the white one. Both work. And then you can change your heels to the Aria flats. So it's more of a comfortable, casual look. Kind of like, you know, someone who belongs to the creative department. But you know, we don't end there. You can also wear your cardigan. So again, as I've said, creating a capsule collection is all about making sure that all these pieces go well together that you can easily mix and match. So there, if you don't want the blazer, you don't want the button down, you can go for the cardigan. You can leave it open or wear it closed. So let me just quickly show you how I wear these knit vests. I prefer them because the fabric is thicker, so there's a bit more structure, so it makes you look a bit more polished as well. I feel like the more structured the fabric, the more polished you look. So yeah, these are just the various ways that you can wear them. through of the tops again we have something more fitted to the body but even though they fit to the body it's still very appropriate for a conservative office because it's got full sleeveless it's also got a high neck which is nice high necks for me they look super classy and then we've got a variety of knits here just to show you that you don't have to stick to one type of knit if you can't find this type you can go for this you can go for that these pieces are easily replaceable by whatever you can find at whatever price point that's comfortable to you we have here the classic t-shirt and also button downs and then for our outerwear we've got cardigan and blazers okay so we've got our skirts pants tops and outerwear already covered now it's time for the dresses first what i'm going to show you is this one again we're i'm sticking to cleaner lines a very very streamlined silhouette we've got an a-line silhouette because as i've said it's more universally flattering so you can wear this dress by itself and pair it with the emily flats they already look super duper chic very timeless very classy and then again as i've said my trick to look rich <laughs> put a cardigan over it it just makes it look super duper preppy and you know it's very handy as well if you get cold in the office easily wear your cardigan but if you want a more tailored look you can go for a blazer instead but you know there are plenty of ways for you to style the dress differently as well it doesn't always have to be something that you put on top of the dress you could also put something underneath the dress so this is where our handy dandy t-shirt comes in so you can put the shirt underneath the dress and already you look like you're wearing something inspired by your favorite k-drama if you want to accessorize it you can also maybe like put a scarf around your neck super duper cute if you want something to cover your arms a bit more so you can get one of our button downs let's get the white button down and then you can wear it over your dress so that it doesn't look frumpy and you can still accentuate your waist just tie it around your waist and then maybe put a statement necklace and voila you've changed your look once again you can also use our blue button down but this time instead of putting it over the dress you can put it under and this is the look so you see, with just this dress alone, you were able to style, what, four different looks? And that's just the start of it. You can do so much more. You can also go for this type of dress. I call this a column dress or a sheath dress. This fabric is a bit softer as well. This is a knit and not woven. So it does give off a more casual vibe than the earlier dress. But as I've said, you can easily dress up a casual piece through your accessories and how you style it. So for here, instead of wearing flats, let's wear it with the jade heels and then maybe add a blazer on top of it. And there you go. And then for casual Fridays, again, let's remove the blazer. Put one of our button downs. Ta-da! 
Originally, actually, I was also looking for the type of column dress where it's got a thicker fabric, there's a bit more structure, and then we can go for maybe like a spaghetti strap style. But if you're an avid follower, then you know that a bunch of my clothes are in storage because I'm only in the halfway house. So I wasn't able to. But you know, you get the picture. That also works super duper well for this capsule wardrobe. Okay, so the last type of dress I included in our capsule wardrobe is this button-down dress that again is in a very, very streamlined silhouette, very simple, not a lot of things going on. But the reason why I wanted to add this is because I feel like there's so much that you can do with this type of dress. So you can wear it as is, so comfortable, very roomy, perfect for the buffet. But because it's roomy, some of you guys may feel a bit lousier. I feel like a lot of people think that when they're wearing something that's a bit loose, it makes them feel lousy. So an easy, quick fix is just to wear the dress with heels instead of flats. Or another quick fix is to add a waistband or a belt. So then you're able to accentuate your waist and also create a nice silhouette. And because you've already accentuated your waist and you will look a bit more polished, feel free to change from your heels to our Emily flats. Something that I really love to do with button-down dresses as well is to use them as cardigans or jackets. Something to wear over your outfit underneath. For example, you're wearing a bit more revealing top and you want to be a bit more conservative at the office. You can easily use this as your overcoat on top of your revealing top so then you automatically look more modest. Want to wear something on top of this dress demand, you can easily wear one of our sweater vests as well and automatically the dress doesn't look the same anymore. So that's it for our capsule wardrobe styling sesh. I feel like if it's not because of the time limit, I would have styled even more outfits with this capsule wardrobe. But you know, that's the success of a capsule wardrobe. You want to be able to create the most mileage with just a few pieces. So I hope that you guys were able to get some ideas from this vlog and that these pieces are simple and easy enough for you to be able to find or replace or duplicate or copy or whatever you want to call it. Again, you don't have to look for the exact same pieces just listen to the styling tips that I gave you get a few bits here and there and then make it into your own but if you do want to find the exact same pieces it's easy for you to find the shoes again they are available on Vivaya they're all sustainable eco-friendly and you can make use of my code Camille to get 15% off site-wide all their shoes as seen on this vlog are so versatile so comfortable and very much worth the value of your money so I'll put the link down below so you can easily find the exact same styles that I have and also more. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next vlog. Bye everyone!